I recently made a post asking which 3D modeling app is better, Prisma 3D, the 3D modeling app, or Recon 4D. The results showed a close competition between Prisma 3D and the 3D modeling app, with many people casting their votes. I also received several comments disagreeing with the idea that the 3D modeling app is superior to Prisma 3D. So in today's video, I'll break down why I believe the 3D modeling app is the better choice. Before we dive in, make sure to watch the video all the way through. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Saying that the 3D modeling app is better than Prisma 3D for modeling is a straightforward statement, and here's why. The 3D modeling app is specifically designed with modeling in mind, while Prisma 3D is a more versatile tool focused on animation, rigging, rendering, and other functions beyond just modeling. In essence, Prisma 3D is an animation-focused app, whereas the 3D modeling app is a dedicated modeling platform. Starting with the 3D modeling app, its menu offers a range of specialized features like modeling, sculpting, texture painting, vertex painting, UV editing, tools that are crucial for precise and detailed modeling. On the other hand, Prisma 3D only offers basic modeling capabilities, which limits its functionality when compared to the more advanced and specialized tools in the 3D modeling app. In Prisma 3D, editing in face, vertex, and edge modes is quite basic. You can extrude objects, add loop cuts, delete faces, and create new ones, all of which make the modeling process simple and quick. While these tools are helpful for basic modeling, the functionality is limited compared to more advanced 3D modeling applications. On the other hand, the 3D modeling app offers more advanced features for editing in face, vertex, and edge modes. For example, in face mode, you not only have the basic extrusion tool, but also additional options like detach face, clone, draw face, reverse a face, and collapse edges, features that Prisma 3D doesn't offer. These tools allow for more complex modifications and greater control over the model. In vertex mode, the 3D modeling app also includes more than just basic tools. One standout feature is the bevel tool, which allows you to create sloping or angled edges between two surfaces, an essential technique for adding detail and realism to a model. Edge mode in the 3D modeling app also comes with its own set of advanced features, providing even more flexibility for detailed edits. In summary, while Prisma 3D makes modeling easy with its basic set of tools, the 3D modeling app offers a much wider range of features, making it a more powerful and flexible option for serious 3D modelers. While Prisma 3D might seem more user-friendly and streamlined, which is why some may prefer it, this simplicity actually highlights its limitations as a dedicated modeling tool. On the other hand, the 3D modeling app is more feature-rich and may appear a bit bulkier or harder to navigate at first, but that's precisely what makes it a powerful, specialized tool for 3D modeling. Many impressive professional level models have been created using this tool because it offers everything necessary to produce high quality 3D assets. Even some of the creators and animators who use Prisma 3D, like Remote Animation and myself, rely on the 3D modeling app as an external tool for modeling before importing the assets into Prisma 3D for animation. Take this character, for example. While it was modeled in the 3D modeling app, it was rendered using Prisma. Prisma 3D by itself cannot achieve the same level of smooth, detailed modeling as the 3D modeling app. In fact, even an app like Recon 4D can produce smoother results than Prisma 3D in terms of modeling. I know some people still have their own opinions and that's totally fine, but why not give it a try for yourself and see which app really suits your needs. So that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.